In this video, I'm going to describe a more advanced graph for geography. In this video, I'm going to investigate a four mark question for a more advanced graph in geography. Again, we need to remember the points that I went through in the last video, where you try and break down the graph into four different parts. We look at the title, the trend, the axes, and the data. If we take a look at the, this graph showing the changing industrial structure of the UK, there's a lot more information on here to break down. The four mark question is describe how the UK economy has changed throughout the years. Give reference to the different types of industry. This is a four mark question, so you need to make sure you go into enough detail on each type of data. Here is my model answer for this question. There have been some big changes to the types of industry in the UK. The primary industries such as farming and mining have decreased steadily since 1840. An overall decrease of 19% has been seen between 1840 and 2010. Secondary industries such as manufacturing remained consistently just below 40% until 1960. There was then a big decline from 1970, dropping to around 9% of the workforce being employed in manufacturing. Tertiary industries, also known as the service industries, have increased massively and is currently the largest employer with 80% of the UK population providing some sort of service. In 1840, only 35% were working in tertiary industries and remained fairly consistent until the 1960s. At the same time as the decline in secondary industries, tertiary industries started to increase rapidly. Finally, the development of the quaternary industries such as information technology, media and research and development started to pick up steam. The more recent industries started to attract university graduates from the 1980s and have risen to around 9% of the UK's workforce. So that's just an example of how to break down answering a more complicated question about a graph. Don't forget those four main points, title, trend, axis and data. Thanks for watching, give this video a like if you found it useful, subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of the Geography Basics playlist.